Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Me Cranium Barbecue and Review. Today, I'm doing pork belly. I had somebody comment on one of my other uh, videos when I did pork belly, when I did pork belly burn ends, and they said, hey, what's the difference between cutting up the pork belly and keeping it whole, and then uh, cutting up after you roast it like that? So I'm gonna give that a shot. I think the reason being is because of the fat content, you wanna get the smoke all around. So I'll see if there's gonna be a difference if I just leave it whole and then I cut it up, or if I cut it up first and then uh, then I just do it all like that. So I've got some skin on here. I'm removing the skin, and then I'm going to be putting on. Now I always I permit I mispronounce. Yeah, I just mispronounced mispronounced. Um, I mispronounce words all the time, and I was corrected on what this is. This is carib, carib, caribicue, caribicue. I'm sorry if I screw it up. No, I probably am going to screw it up. Anyhow, this is a pork and poultry rub. This is the honey and heat. And then also, I picked this up at the store. This is a, a local Swamp Boys original barbecue sauce. I want to be putting that on there too after they're done and when they're finally in the steam pan. Gonna be putting this on there too. These guys are just right down the road in Winter Haven, Florida. I'm gonna give that a try. The reason I picked this is because it's kind of thin. See how it's kind of thin like that? I like that. So anyhow, I'm gonna get the skin off this pork belly, get it, get one of them cut up, and, uh, and that's it. Let's get started. Y'all that don't know, uh, pork belly is where they get bacon from, right here. It's got a uh, thing of fat right here. I mean, not fat, but it's got uh, some skin here that needs to come off. And uh, I'm just gonna come down here. Gonna lay this uh, kind of flat. Lay out here at the edge, keep the knife flat. Gonna go along the edge. And there you go. Skin's removed. There you go. This makes some really good cracklings. Cut this up, throw it in some uh, some oil, eat that. It's really good. So there's that. I'm gonna scrunch this back together. This is the one I'll probably leave just the way it is, like that. I couldn't scrunch this one up. I'll probably just leave this one the way it is, and then I'll come back and uh, cut up later. This one I'm gonna cube up right here. All right, gonna come here, gonna go about every two inches. So I know from the tip of my finger to the crease of my finger here is two inches. So I'm gonna go by about an inch and a half, about right here. Now, time to put the carib, carib, car, carib, 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 <laughs> I need heat rub on it. The only binder I have on here is water, water binder. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this pork belly on now while the temperatures are still coming up. I'm gonna do fat side down. The heat's coming up from down there. Leave space between. All right, I'm gonna shut the lid and I'm gonna revisit this in about an hour, see how they are after I put probes in these things. All right, so right now, the internal temperature, uh, see the pit is running at, don't worry about these, it's running at 275, I wanna get about 250. It only took, from the time I put these coals in, uh, when I open this flue up here, and I open up the intake here, completely open, it only took about 10 minutes 
for those temperatures to give it about 286. So I went ahead and I honed it down to a number one. I'm gonna creep it down a little bit more to probably about a half. And that should probably get me into temperatures right about uh, uh, 250, right where I wanna go. And let's see how long, see how soon it takes to, uh, to start reacting. Let's see, 275, see I just made those adjustments. There you go, 273. That took right about a minute. I've been counting, so it took about a minute for that to uh, to start going down. So now it's at 273. Temperature's going back down, 273. And uh, yeah, so it only took you know a minute for it to react from where I changed it here until I started uh, you know changing inside the pit. So that's uh, that's pretty good. I like that. All right, so in my last video where I did ribs on the Oklahoma Joe. Highland Smoker. I had a couple of people question and also comment that how they learned was to adjust the temperatures with the intake and leave the outtake completely open. Well, that's true. Um, that's how I do it with the Bronco and pretty much any other vertical smoker. That's how you pretty much do it. You know, like a pit barrel, a barrel house cooker, you adjust with the bottom and you have the holes in the top and you just kind of like leave that all completely open. Well, with uh, the Oklahoma Joe Highland Smoker, my personal offset smoker, if I do that, the temperatures will be up and down, up and down. I'll be chasing temperatures all day long. With the Oklahoma Joe Highland Smoker, and I believe a lot of um, offset smokers, I have to leave the intake where the firebox is, leave that open, let the airflow get in there to get some good airflow, and I adjust the temperatures with the outtake. Now that's how I have to do it with my personal offset smoker. Had an alarm going off. But anyhow, I just want to make that uh, make that a little bit of a correction. Uh, how you adjust also has to do with your elevation. I'm in Florida. We're like what, six foot elevation, so we're like not very high up there in the air. So uh, adjust according to your pit. That's all I can say. Some are different. Verticals are one way. Offsets are another. And maybe your offset. You adjust with the intake and leave the outtake completely open. That's all on you. All right, it's been one hour and 15 minutes. Right now, the temps are, can you see that? 266 inside the pit, 165 and 160. They're not done yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead uh, and just see how they're progressing tender-wise. I'm gonna use the ink bird. Looking like it's getting a nice little bark on there. Yeah, it's still, still sticking. Definitely not done yet. But the color's looking stellar on there though. Color really looks good. All right, so it's been two hours. Internal temp is right now is in the 170s. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get these things wrapped up. They're getting soft, but it's not uh, it's not where it needs to be. You see, it's still sticking. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these things in some foil to get these things uh, treated up the right way and get this one cut up. Okay, here's this one. You cut that one up. All right, so this is the one where I'm cutting it up after. All right, see what the difference is. That's what it looks like so far right there. Looks really good. But however, there's no smoke gonna, not going around the sides. What I'm gonna do now is turn these all over like this, and I'm gonna put some rub on the side I didn't get. See if this changes matters any. All right, my hands are clean. All right, so I got some, the only brown sugar I have is this Splenda brown sugar. Uh, Splenda brown sugar right here. Splenda brown sugar seems to burn more than what regular brown sugar does. I got some, uh, you put some honey on there. I couldn't find any squeezable butter because the shelves are pretty much are wiped out. So I can only get like the stick butter. So I'm just gonna cut the stick butter up and put it in there. All right, wrapping this up. Put it back on the pit. Now it's gonna come time for the other one. Okay, then this is the ones I cubed up before I smoked. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna put it back on the pit. All right, so when I bought this, it was $5.19 at a Publix, Swamp Boys Original Barbecue Sauce. Well, I just popped the top of it and I just tried it, tried a little bit of it. <laughs> that stuff is good. That stuff's real good. 
It actually reminds me somewhat of my um, my bourbon maple syrup barbecue sauce that I make. It reminds me a lot of that, but just with a little bit of vinegar in it. So that's, uh, that's really tasty. That's gonna go really good on these burnt ends after they get them cooking, they're nice and tender and, and breaking apart and probe tender. That's gonna go really good on Let y'all know that. I, I just, I got excited when I, when I tried it. It's that freaking good. Okay, it's right now it's internal temperature of the pit is running at 248. It's been maintaining right around the 240, like 245 to 260 area this whole time. This has been three hours. Can't ask for much more. It's been steady as steady can be. As Lionel Richie would say, it's easy as a Sunday morning. Actually, today is Sunday, so that's kind of cool. Anyhow, let's, uh, I'm going to get these uh, things open. I'm going to probe them, see how tender they are. Nope, still got a little way to go. That's tender. Right there, one on the bottom. So yeah, like that, there's tender, right? there's ready to go. That one's not. See how it's leaking a little bit. Probe this one. See how these are doing. Oh, those look freaking amazing. Now these are the ones that I, I had already pre-cubed up. The mother ones uh, are the ones that I had to actually cut up. Yeah, these here actually, this is like butter right here. That feels like butter. Not really, hold on. They got poked a hole in both of them. I think I'm gonna pull them off in about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna pour all that juice out. I'm gonna coat them with some barbecue sauce and let them sit on there for about another 15 minutes. So right now, it's been uh, three hours and 15 minutes. So it's gonna be about a four hour cook. Okay, it's been a half hour and the internal temp is still at 255. What I tell you? This Bronco is extremely good at holding temps. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna probe it, I'm gonna put the juice in here, and I'm gonna coat it with some barbecue sauce. All right, so this one back here is the one that I, uh, I cut up afterwards. See if that half hour did any good. Eh, it's still a little, still a little uh, sticky there. Fat is, is butter. Oh yeah, actually these are here are perfect. Just got a couple here. Just got a couple here on the outside that, that are kind of sticking a little bit. Like, yeah, all these are pretty good. All right, cool. Yeah, they're ready. There's just a couple pieces that are a little tough, but uh, other than that, it's pretty good. Also gonna compare the colors on these things as well. Uh, Swamp Boys barbecue sauce. I like that, nice and thin. There we go. I'm gonna look at the comparison. All right, so this is the one that I, I had pre-cut up. So that's the one I cut up afterwards, after it was all whole and put it on here. There's a complete glaring difference in the color of both of these. All right, they cook the same temperature at the same time. This one here, I left it whole and I cut up before I put it into the foil. This one's been cut up the whole time. Yeah, these are yeah, these are done too. There's a couple that are sticking, but I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's like butter. All right, so they both feel about the same, but the color on the ones here are a whole lot better. Pour the juice out. So y'all might ask me, what am I gonna be doing with that juice I just uh, I just poured out? It's gonna be uh, going to the local vegan restaurant so they can flavor up their food. Okay, put some barbecue sauce on here. All right, close this lid. I'm just gonna let that uh, barbecue sauce tack up on there and it's gonna be back in roughly uh, 15, 20 minutes. All right, so it's been a half hour, actually 15 minutes. And a look, at the, look at the temp, 257. It went right back to the 250 area. That is some impressive stuff. I love these Broncos. These are, it's definitely a, a, a smoker that I'm happy I got. All right, let's see how these things look. It's about, about 15, 20 minutes. I've let these things sit in there and rest with the barbecue sauce on there. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, I gotta take these off, put them on the chopping board and do a taste test. Honestly, can you tell a difference? Look at these two and can you see the difference? Pre-cubed, cubed afterwards. All right, cubed before I wrapped it up, cubed the whole time. I'm not sure what the title of this video, but uh, I'll figure something out. I wanna let these rest a little bit and then uh, let them cool down, then we'll do a taste test. All right, so here it goes. It's been uh, like five, 10 minutes. There's a difference right there, okay? This is the one I pre-cubed up. This is the one I, I post-cubed up. I left it whole through the cook and then right before I put it into the foil, that's when I cubed it up. There's a considerable difference in size. The fat in the one here that I cooked whole and then I uh, then I cubed it up, the fat hasn't rendered down as much. And the other problem I see, now they cooked about the same amount of time. So the time frame is a tie. The fat didn't render down all the way. Plus you don't get the smoke all the way around on two sides, even three sides, you don't get no smoke on. 
around the sides here. Plus, you also don't get the flavor from the from the rub going around there as well. But however, everything depends on taste. So I'm gonna give this a taste. Hmm. You know what? Very tasty. That barbecue sauce, a green swamp. I know I do with it. Yeah, that sauce is really good. Excellent. If you wanna leave your stuff together and cube it up afterwards, hey, you know what? From this taste right here, there's nothing wrong with doing it. Now here's the one I pre-cubed up, and it's been cubed the whole time. Now it's a lot smaller. Comparison's over. That's the way to do it. That is like literal freaking candy. That is beautiful. Cubing it up after you uh, cook it is cool. Cubing it up before to, before you cook it, and as you cook it, uh, pre-cut it up, that's the way to go. But you can taste more smoke and you can taste more flavor on the one that was pre-cubed up. I'm not sure what the title is video. I'll make something up. Anyhow, I'll have to give the win to the pre-cubed up uh, pork belly to make into burnt end. Anyhow, like, subscribe. I'll see you next week. Oh yeah, share the video. Ciao.